Well, a couple notes here on our gasket. This gasket is provided by Felpro. It is uh, Felpro 1008. And um, one of the questions that I got uh, when I did the um, last motor was covering the uh, fluid or the coolant area right here, right? And so if you notice here that the gasket does cover that particular hole. Now, why is it doing that, right? Well, one side is blocked off and the other one is not blocked off. And the reason is, is it's promoting flow through the head itself. Now, I made a, a I'll call it a dummy statement saying make sure that no ports are covered, but obviously that, you know, you can't get away with that. So these gaskets are also designed for using aluminum heads, which is exact, which is exactly what's going on here, aluminum heads. So anytime you change up the heads and you're going from say like an iron head to an aluminum head, you want to make sure that you change out the gaskets. And one more note, did you notice how much material now you can see the sidewall, just how big these jugs are or just these, these cylinder bores. Yeah, that is a big difference, ladies and gentlemen. Now, something to note about our combination here is that these pistons um, are designed for a certain size valve. Now, the pistons are set up where they're a slightly uh, smaller valve than what we have coming with the heads for the intake side, but they're the exact same match for the exhaust side. So we had to do a slight modification to the pistons. And so what we did here, or what Dad did, was he used and had to hand grind just a little bit around the edge here, all right, to make room for that valve. And that's something that uh, we found on error. Sometimes when you're a hobbyist, you know, sometimes things are overlooked, and that was something that was unfortunately overlooked. So after taking care of that, he used a Rolock disc after grinding and then kind of smoothed everything out. And each piston received the same treatment. Now, for those that are saying, wait a minute, you just violated all the balancing of all the pistons when you did it. We estimate that nearly the same amount of material was taken off and there should be no difference outside one hundredth of a gram. Still gives us plenty of room for the higher RPMs we are looking for. Now, it's been a little bit of time since we did some filming because we were waiting on parts. And uh, so now we're ready to catch back up and get this thing uh, in assembly today. And so we got a couple things we're going to tackle. We're going to tackle getting the uh, head on. We're going to go make sure that the uh, valves are no longer touching. And then, of course, we're going to snug up our um, rockers and rocker arm assembly, get our uh, oil in, get it primed, and of course get our intake on and get this thing ready to go on our engine test stand. Since it's been a while since we worked on it, dad couldn't just stay beside and not be working on the motor. And so uh, he always wants something to do. So something we added off camera was we used the standard aluminum, um, well, water pump housing. And then for this motor, we're no longer using the mechanical water pump, but we're using an electronic water pump. And we used a standard balancer. So nothing too fancy here, uh, but dad went ahead and clear coated all the aluminum parts uh, to kind of make them stand out because he wanted that offset between the uh, OEM factory blue, that Chrysler blue and uh, the aluminum parts. Now that we're ready to put the heads on, a uh, quick little note about our uh, head gaskets. These are uh, older style head gaskets. So we went ahead and used a uh, uh, copper spray gasket on it. This is a uh, Permatex copper spray gasket. Now there's a lot of questions, here's the can right here. Now there's a lot of questions out there about you know, the validity of using this. And here's what it really boils down to. If you are using a modern engine and you're assembling a modern engine using the modern gaskets, the copper spray is absolutely unnecessary. Now this is an old school mechanic trick here and it really helps uh, promote a good seal so there's no loss of combustion. Of course, the modern um, uh, gaskets might be multi-layered depending on the engine you're dealing with or might have additional gaskets around the water jackets, so on and so forth, right? Now, there might be an additional question about, wait a minute, you're using aluminum heads. Don't copper and aluminum cause corrosion? 
Well, this engine's gonna be grounded, so that'll help reduce corrosion, and it's gonna be super tight sealed against there, so there's not gonna be a lot of oxidization with that. Additionally, there are corrosion inhibitors with the engine coolants in the modern engine coolants, so it is a very, very small concern here. Again, because we're using an older style gasket, it is absolutely acceptable. So now that that's on there, um, Dad's ready to go ahead and put on the head itself. And uh, I'm going to add a little extra hand here just in case it doesn't slip off the stand. So on the head goes onto the keeps where the stays. I'm going to help get it lined up. More my way, my way. Yeah. These will help keep it in place, but just in case we don't want our fancy heads falling to the concrete floor and giving them a good old ding, so we're gonna keep it right here held up in place until he gets a few bolts in. We are using the ARP fastener assembly lube for these. These are ARP bolts. And of course, uh, the lube is recommended um, just to make sure that when you're torquing, they actually go down to spec. And of course, these also have various um, things inside to help reduce corrosion, rust, etc. So I um, always recommend using the uh, ARP Ultra Torque fastener assembly lube for this kind of project. Uh, each bolt will get a uh, light coating on the uh, threads themselves and in a few moments you're going to see us run through a torque sequence and that torque sequence uh, I believe was 35, 65, 95, is that correct? All right. So now we're gonna go through our sequencing here. Now remember that our valves had been changed and that had been featured earlier. Uh, the valves themselves are actually physically thinner as far as the actual valve spring assembly itself, right? But the actual spring material is thicker here. And um, it really helps with especially that center bolt, which could be really, really tough to get in. And uh, you might actually find yourself having to take one of your existing half inch drive sockets and modifying that to get in between for that first one, which is right here where my finger's at. Now you can tell the sequence that uh, dad is working in here. He's uh, first going to 35 and notice he started at the center, went to the next ones over and then goes to the outside ones here. And uh, so that's to help, you know, that's per the sequence that's recommended. And of course, you know, it helps with getting the pressure here, then out, then all the way to the front and back of the motor itself. Now we'll go ahead and do this at 65 foot pounds. And yeah, I do read the, uh, comments that are left on our uh, channel and uh, we get a lot of love and there's a lot of love for from the Mopar enthusiasts that are out there and uh, one of the comments we got from when we were putting on the uh, crank we were torquing it down and people were noticing it move was put a paint stick under the wheel sure enough that's what we did today so thank you very much for leaving that comment and uh, it really helps ensure that we're not moving the uh, motor as it's torquing down which might throw off the torque number itself by minimal amounts but it's still it keeps it from moving so I'm just here holding that paint stick in place and pops torquing down here
Huh? It does help. Helps tremendously. Yeah. If you didn't hear, he says it'll absolutely help when we get to the 95, which is what we're fixing to get to. So 95 foot-pounds, here we go. Now again, 95 foot-pounds is recommended from Indy and Hughes Motors. Um, and I believe the uh, iron heads don't get quite that much. So make sure when you do your project, you are checking out the recommended spec for your type of head. Everybody fool you, pop still strong. All right. Don't let anybody fool you, pop still strong.